Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we spend the morning with a professional barista so you learn what happens behind the closed doors before you get your first morning coffee. Also, if you are a professional barista yourself, Alan will share some useful tips for you. Mornings are painful, really, uh, getting up, I mean. But the morning routine, gosh, this is beautiful. So when I come into the coffee shop, I turn on the grinders, the batch brewer, the other grinders, the kettles, and now to turn on the most important equipment here after the coffee machine, that is the dishwasher. And now we're gonna make some delicious batch brew. A little water hack against static from James Hoffman. Thank you, Jim. Shake it up. Look at this. Almost no static, no chaff, beautiful. Otherwise, I will be cleaning for 30 minutes here. Let's change the clothes and we need to fill up the hoppers. We have some coffee from last night. Usually, and that's very important, you will find a recipe here for espresso, for batch food, for filter coffee. But since I was closing and I'm opening the famous Klopen shift, you know, I'm not gonna do that and I have it all here, so we're set. So now we're gonna add some coffee into the hoppers. Clean from last night. And we have two grinders, one is espresso based and the other one is uh, milk based. Making sure the hopper is full is pretty good for grinding consistency in terms of dose. So one kilo of that. Before we open, we need to make sure there is no kafiza left here. What we usually do is two cycles of kafiza in the evening and two cycles of hot water to wash it out. I don't want to grind new coffee, fresh coffee, for just making sure this machine has no traces of uh, kafiza in it. I like coffee, I don't want to waste it. What we're gonna do is add a little batch brew in the, the backflash porter filter, blind one, turn on the cycle. So you clean it up with actual batch brew, not with ground coffee. So we've finished three cycles of batch brew, or you can ground fresh coffee, of course. Everything is set. Oh, now cloth. This is very important. I found rugs really useful. Much better than, uh, you know, paintbrushes and stuff like that. And usually what I do, I make uh, a part of this uh, moist with water. And this just helps to clean the porta filter completely. So something like this is gonna work perfectly. Uh, push fresh water in it. Just getting rid of the older water from, from the boiler. Our house recipe would be 17.5 grams. We really like to use that fantastic pre-infusion. So we have 10 seconds of pre-infusion and then the nine bar pressure and total brew time, something like uh, 26, 27 seconds. As you can see, the, this is a little bit lighter. Uh, the crema and the flow rate was looking like more, more light. This is because we cleaned the grinder, but there is still some leftover here from last night. So we usually use that for retasting our coffee in the morning. And then the next grind is super fresh. And this is still looking really nice. Stop swilling your espresso and just stir it right. Yeah, this is nice. A little bit of uh, acidity, a little more than I would love to have. Maybe. The finish is clean, smooth, a little bit velvety texture. Nicely balanced. The, the next one should be even better, right? Because you will have just... Absolutely, coffee. absolutely. So there's a good sign for you, so you are okay yeah. to actually open doors and, and invite people in. That's exactly. Coffee's dialed in, the music is playing, let's open. 